Angela Kane Sewing Patterns The Shirt Sleeve Placket Part 1 I know you are all going to love this tutorial. Sewing the shirt sleeve placket is an absolute chore for most sewers. There are so many methods and every commercial pattern will show you something different. Use this method for all your shirts from now on. I have spent some time working on the best measurements and the best method. Once you have used this method a few times, you will be able to do most of the folding at the sewing machine to speed things up. I have included this template on my free sewing patterns page, so print it and keep it handy. This is a template, not a pattern, so don't add any seam allowance. So this is my placket ready to cut out. Accuracy is the key, so take a mental note of these measurements. You don't always need to interface, but it makes it clear for this demonstration and makes it easier to shape the point. Here is a mock-up of the bottom of a typical sleeve. Underarm seam lines, the top line or shoulder line, the front line which you see from the front, the back line which you see from the back and is longer to allow the arm to bend. This is the pattern for my man's cut classic shirt. Sewing pattern number 540. The placket can be as long as you like and often has a small button halfway along its length. This style has pleats which are folded towards the placket. Cut out the placket fabric. You will be cutting out a double layer right sides together to give you a pair. This is the slash line which you want to mark with a notch at each end. This is where the opening will appear on the sleeve. I've cut a piece of interfacing one inch wide and it will be ironed on here on the wrong side of the placket and I'm going to fold in and press the quarter inch seam allowances here and here and turn in the point neatly. Always make this a shallow point so that the seam allowances turn under neatly. Don't burn your fingers doing this. Use tweezers with long points. They are a standard accessory for overlockers. But I'm sure you can buy them separately. Eventually you will find you can fold the turnings at the sewing machine as you go, rather than pre-pressing. Pin the placket in place on the sleeve. The top part of the placket is on the larger section of the sleeve and the under part is on the small section of the sleeve. Both wrong sides are facing up. This is where we are going to cut through both layers, stopping at about one inch from the top. Mark in the cutting line if you need to. So slash up to the point through both layers Taking careful note of the measurements, we will machine a half inch seam line on this side, across the top, about a half an inch above the slit, and back down the other side, but this time taking a quarter inch turning. This difference in seam allowance is important for centralising the bottom placket behind the larger top placket. So machine either side of the slash line a quarter inch seam on the larger side continuing a half an inch beyond the slit. Turn and machine a half an inch past the slit line. 
down the other side with a half inch seam. One more stitch I think. It helps to use a small stitch length for more control. So a half inch seam on this side. It gets easier to judge it. You don't have to keep measuring. The sleeve placket will be finished in part 2, coming next. Visit my free patterns page, angelacane.com forward slash free sewing patterns, to print this useful template. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you would like more free tutorials on sewing skills, please give this video a like. Thank you very much for watching this movie.